So this past week, my friend Matt and I got together and built the latest version of the Lumarca, which is a 3D volumetric display. Uh, this time, we hooked it up to a Kinect, which is a 3D gaming controller, and basically, by hooking these two things up, we got to make a miniature version of ourselves inside the volumetric display. So what you're looking at here is uh, me stepping over a box and a miniature version of me stepping over a miniature version of the box. Uh, the yellow dots on the bottom are Matt's feet. Matt's feet. The green dots are his hands and the red dot on top is his head. And the blue box on bottom is obviously the box that he's standing on right now. And the way it works is that the Kinect takes information... Uh, it scans uh, it scans a field and looks for a human body, takes that information, places it as 3D information inside the computer, and our custom software that Matt built takes all that information and pushes it out into a volumetric display. Um, and, and unlike a lot of other displays, you don't need to wear 3D glasses here. What you can do here is you can look at it, and uh, you can see it's truly a three-dimensional volume. Uh, as you move forward, backwards, left, right, up and down, and as all your joints move around, you know, the volume inside here also moves around in 3D space. Uh, all of this doesn't really look so great on video, but hopefully you can get a sense of it. But I promise you, when you're standing in front of it, it looks way more real. I mean, if you happen to know anyone who saw us at any of our shows, they'll be able to tell you absolutely that this thing looks like a hundred times better in person simply because both your eyes are looking at it and you do get a sense of 3D. And this is sort of an ongoing project. It's sort of been a part of my uh, creative passion to incorporate the human body into the machine. I think a lot of people have been interested in that question of how do we interface with machines in a, in a broader sense instead of just keyboard and mice and how do we get our bodies involved and and how do we make it feel real? And looking at this, it's just so hypnotizing, right? When you're standing there looking at a miniature version of yourself, it's it's almost like you're having an out-of-body experience. Uh, like looking at your body as you move it around from the outside. It's really wild. And uh, I think, you know, I, I, I'm really interested in getting this project sort of out into the public sometime in the near future. Well, that's pretty much all the good footage that we got. Uh, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.